The Sussex Sharks reached the Friends Live T20 Finals Day by beating Gloucestershire Gladiators with an impressive score of 230 for four in their quarter final. It's now just a week until finals day in Cardiff and the Sharks face Yorkshire Carnegie. But no one's getting carried away, especially Captain Michael Yardy. Yeah, everything's going very, very well at the moment and it is, it is nice and it's very nice to have the sun on the back while it is going like that. Um, but there's no reason to, for us to get any you know, giddy. We've won nothing. Um, we're in a fantastic position to be kind of challenging for three trophies, but nothing's won yet and we have to make sure we keep our feet on the ground, keep working hard and keep repeating the things we've done. It's up for the senior guys to sort of you know, keep the younger guys or you know, let them know what it's going to be like or just keep them chilled. You know, it's, it's trying to take the pressure off yourself and just try and relax on those days. You know, you've got half your family there coming to watch you, you've got a big crowd there and you know, it can get the best of you, but uh, you've just got to try and take it in, relax and just do what you normally do and, and try and forget that it is actually a big game. Next week is big. It's a big deal next weekend. How are you feeling about it? Hasn't really sunk in to be honest. Um, I've never played a finals day before, so I don't really know, I don't really know what to expect. Um, but the guys in the dressing room say it's a massive occasion. Uh, it's a big stage, and you're obviously looking to impress. If you are lucky enough and successful to win that first uh, semi-final, obviously doing that before and going through what you know, because you can build up. It builds up a lot of waste, a lot of energy in that time. Uh, we are the first semi-final, so you know, we have a, if we were to win the first game, we have a big break before the final, and you can sit there and you can waste energy. So we have had that experience of kind of knowing what to do and get away from it, and then come and take it as another fresh game instead of maybe waiting around, kind of warming up for three or four hours before a game. The amount of very, very seasoned athletes that, that say that the only thing that you should really concern yourself with is the basics. You can't, don't, you don't try and control the uncontrollable. Is that something that you also adhere to, stick to? Yeah, massive. I mean, some days, amount of times you can bowl a certain way and you'll get four wickets in a 2020 and another day you bowl exactly the same and you get smashed out of the park. You can't always control things, you know. Some days it goes for you and some days it doesn't. I think, for me, I try and accept that I'm going to fail at times. There's more chance of me failing than there is me doing well and it, I try and use that as a way to sort of relax me and and when I'm relaxed is normally when I do better anyway um, so yeah I think there's a massive thing for everyone stick to what you normally do um, and just hope it's your day really. I think we've played some really good cricket to score for uh, 204 times is, is a very special thing and I think we've kind of very much embraced what 2020 is about about entertaining crowds and and expressing yourself and I certainly believe we've done that. Considering how well this season's gone it bodes very well for next year does it not? It does. I think the great thing is, you know, we've seen a lot of young lads coming through. We've got a good squad of players now. We look very, you know, there's a lot of players underneath the first team who are pushing for places and you need that. You know, as soon as you 11 feel comfortable, then you can relax and um, you don't get as good a results. And to be in all three forms um, at this point and challenging from them all is, is a, you know, a credit to everyone in the, in the team.